Okay, this is going to be a little more organized presentation. I'm going to go um, basically from front to back on all the structures you need to know, and then turn it around and do it that way. Okay, so let's start right in the front with the uh, with the internal nares, which would be this part right here where the nasal cavity is. Okay, below that you have your premaxilla, which holds the incisors. And the above that, you have the nasal bone, which goes up. Okay, there's a frontal part of the maxilla, which goes up towards the frontal bone, towards the forehead. Okay? Uh, and then this is your maxilla. And there's a uh, few parts of your maxilla you need to know. The orbital process of the maxilla is this part that creates part of the orbit. Okay, the alveolar margin of the maxilla is the tooth socket, or the where the teeth, feed it, teeth fit in. Okay, and then the zygomatic process of the maxilla is this little part that goes up towards the zygomatic arch. Oh, and one other process would then be the, temp, the palatine process of the maxilla. And then you also have a palatine process of the premaxilla, and the hole in between those two is called the incisive foramen. Okay? One other structure, this hole right under the zygomatic arch is called the infraorbital foramen. Okay? So then we have the frontal bone, which I mentioned before, which is the forehead. And the lacrimal bone is this little bone in the front of the orbit that has a little hole there be where your tear duct goes that's the nasolacrimal canal okay and so then this area where the eye socket goes is the orbit which is created by the zygomatic arch and the post orbital processes okay um, so that's the frontal bone, post-orbital processes. There's another hole. It's not a complete separation between the orbit, but behind that, which is called the temporal fenestra. And uh, let's see. And then the temporal fossa is this area right here where you have muscles running through here. Okay. The zygomatic arch is made up of two bones. The first one is the jugal, okay, and then the second one is the uh, zygomatic process of the temporal bone. The temporal bone has a few processes we'll go over. Um, so then this is the temporal bone right here, um, and then this part of it is called the squamosal portion of the temporal bone, and it... Uh, there's a suture here in between the parietal and temporal bones. This is the parietal. Then you have a little bone in between the parietals towards the back called the interparietal. So um, the parietal meets the occipital bone, which is the posterior end here. Um, where they come together it makes this little ridge called the nuchal crest or the nuchal line. And you can see it's kind of a sharp angular um, ridge there. Okay, so then the occipital bone is on the back. You have uh, this large hole where the spinal cord comes out of. That's called the foramen magnum. And you have two um, occipital condyles, one on either side. And these are smooth articular surfaces which um, rub with the atlas, the first vertebrae. Okay. So then let's go underneath. We already went through the palatine processes and the incisive foramen, but there are also two other holes, okay, uh, right next to each other. And the one anterior or towards the nose is the uh, sphenopalatine foramen. And the one uh, posterior is the posterior palatine foramen. So
So, and they're hard to differentiate between between the two if you can only see one of them. But if you can see both of them, you just know the one towards the back is the posterior palatine foramen. We have a few bones right here in the middle. The basis sphenoid, uh, the pre-sphenoid, and the vomer, which kind of goes into the nasal cavity there. And you have the pterygoid process. And on the end of the pterygoid process, you have a, a little wing-like structure called the hamulus. Okay, so we're going to go back right side up so I can show you one bone right here which is called the allosphenoid and this is the temporal bone right here and it's just a little triangular piece right there. Okay, then we have a bunch of holes. The first one here is the optic foramen and then you have the orbital fissure, the ro foramen rotundum, and the foramen ovale. And there's another hole right here underneath the tympanic bulla, and that's called the eustachian canal. And then this is the ear hole. That's the external acoustic meatus, or, um, okay. <clears throat> there's another little hole right behind it called the stylomastoid foramen. And uh, two processes which are kind of separated by a little dip in between the two on the back of the of the tympanic bulla. The first one is the uh, mastoid process, and then the second one is the jugular process. Okay, um, and I think that is all the structures you need to know. There you go. Uh, one other one are the uh, turbinate bones, which are right here inside the nasal cavity. You can also see them a little bit if you look right in the front. See the turbinate bones. Also forgot the mandibular fossa, which is right there.